Did you know that the snails are used in cosmetics and they also produce caviar? Not all the species of snails are edible. A few of them is worth the effort. In the past, Romans considered the snail an elite food, and that tradition is still growing strong. In 1980, the snail represents a $300 million a year business in the United States alone. But majority of snails are still consumed in European countries. That's why today we are in France to see how the snail are farmed. The snails grow rapidly, and there is minimal cost to farm them, thus making it a popular business. Moreover, snails are used to make cosmetics, and their eggs are also sold, just like the sturgeon's caviar. To start the farming, snails are bought from the market in early summer. Because snail go into hibernation in winter, usually this period extends from October to March. In April, the snails woke up to lay the eggs. Mostly, they are fed cereal in this period, and they start to lay eggs in these small pots. These eggs will be either collected to hatch baby snails or make snail caviar. The eggs are prepared for the incubation, and after 15 days, the eggs will fully hatch. They can be hatched outside or inside of a greenhouse, depending on the farm size. Next, the snails are left outside in the mustard plant farm so they can eat and grow. Here, wood pallet are used to provide a shelter for them. It's important to keep the farm moist and warm, so the automatic misting system is used. This system preheats the water 15 to 17 degrees above than the environment temperature before it can start sprinkling. The culture period ends in September, and now it's time to harvest. Multiple workers collect the snails from farm in baskets. It's important to keep them moist so the water is sprinkled time to time. They are sorted by their size. Some farm use rotating screen of variable hole sizes for this purpose. For the sake of quality control, manual inspection is also necessary. Once the inspection is completed, the snails are ready to be packed and shipped. Meat without the shell is also demanded by the customer. So, the snail's meat is extracted from the shell and boiled in hot water. After boiling, meat is placed in a cold store so that it can be packed and later shipped. Snail's eggs are processed too, called snail caviar. But at a price of $3,000 per kilogram, they are way cheaper than the sturgeon's caviar. Now, let's find out how cosmetics are made from snail slime. This machine is called Muller 1. Before the invention of this machine, it was impossible to extract the mass quantity of slime without killing the snails. But this machine changed everything. The washed snails are put into this machine, and the machine acts as a spa for the snails. A secret spray makes them so happy that each batch of snails secretes about 3 kilograms of slime while staying healthy and alive. Well, that's really good news, at least for the snail community. The slime is processed and refined here to be used in a wide variety of cosmetics, but how do we know that snail slime is actually good for skin care? In the 1980s, a Chilean family owned a snail gardening business. Through many days of handling these snails, they recognized that their skin became softer and clearer, and scars started to fade away. So it was discovered that snail slime is the reason behind that. And from that day, snail slime became an important ingredient in skincare products. So, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more amazing content. See ya!